on this episode of the ins and outs of your gaming PC, we're going to focus on what to look for in a gaming monitor. I'm Elliot Levine, Chief Academic Officer for STS Education. And while your school probably has hundreds, if not thousands of computer monitors already, you're likely going to find you're going to need separate monitors for your esports program. Well, why is that? Well, the answer comes to us thanks to the scientist Heinrich Hertz. Now, he's not the founder of a global rental car company. Let's get rid of that. He's a German physicist from the 19th century and long before monitors were ever imagined. But Hertz did develop a unit of frequency that defines the number of cycles something happens every second. Today, we use Hertz or the measurement HZ to measure how many frames per second a monitor displays. Now, most TVs and computer monitors have a refresh rate of 60 Hertz, which means the screen refreshes itself 60 times per second. And that's fine for watching everyday TV shows, even playing some basic console games like Xbox. But for more computer-based games, information gets processed very quickly by your PC. If you were to try to use a standard 60 Hertz monitor, you're gonna find the game is gonna be rather blurry and the content isn't gonna render very smoothly. For gaming monitors, you want a resolution of at least 144 Hertz or a display that is refreshing over 140 times per second. You'll have smoother rendering, easier aiming and sharper images to see what's happening during your game. You're also gonna hear a lot about letters to describe, you know, different contrast ratios and colors. And these letters are VA, TN, IPS. Really what you need to know is IPS, and it stands for in-plane switching panels. They do tend to be a little bit more expensive, but I find that they deliver the most consistent colors, quick response times, and widest viewing angles. And lastly, let's not forget about size, because crazy as it sounds, bigger isn't always better when it comes to gaming, because screen resolution is directly tied with screen size. So, for example, full HD resolution, that's 1920 by 1080 pixels. That's already been optimized for a 24 inch display. Now go larger than that and the image is gonna get pixelated. 2560 by 1440, that's ideal for a 27 inch monitor. Unfortunately, this misconception that bigger is always better, it's not. If you buy larger than a 27 inch screen, you're gonna find you're gonna be moving your head and eyes around the screen to really try to see the full field of vision. And all that's going to do is result in added neck and eye strain. In addition, we hear a lot about these ultra wide curved gaming displays, 34 inch, 43 inch, 53 inch, who knows? They sound great, but they cost a lot and they actually contribute to more eye and neck pain. A 24 to 27 inch IPS display with a refresh rate of 144 Hertz or better, that's gonna give you the best bang for your buck. And yes, if money's no object, you can go out and buy ultra wide gaming displays that sell for three, four, five, six times the cost of a standard gaming monitor. But in the end, you're gonna be better off with a strong and affordable workhorse display. Want more tips? Subscribe to our channel and learn what it takes to build, upgrade, and maintain your gaming PCs and schools.